Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Richard Gearhart. Sea lions on the Central Coast are suffering from an outbreak of a potentially deadly disease. KSBY's Megan Healy joins us live in studio with more on the infection and what you can do to help. Megan? Well, Richard, the Marine Mammal Center in Morro Bay says they are in the middle of the second largest outbreak on record and it's happening up and down the California coast. If you are walking along the beach and find a sea lion tucked up in a fetal position, it might have leptospirosis. The operations manager for the Marine Mammal Center says the potentially fatal disease occurs every four to five years. This bacterial infection affects the kidneys and it can even lead to kidney failure. So sometimes you'll see what we interpret as kind of a painful tucked up look for those sea lions. But it hasn't been spotted since 2011 and researchers are wondering why. Why is it um, appearing after a few more years than we're used to? Um, and then why are we seeing it at this time in this high numbers? From slow to Mendocino County, the center treated more than 200 infected California sea lions, 16 on the central coast. So we give them fluids to get that moisture back, to get them hydrated um, and help them feel better right away, hopefully. During their three day hospital visit, sea lions will also take common antibiotics. Now, if you see a sea lion in that fetal position, marine biologists say it is important to keep a large distance from them. Live in the studio, Megan Healy, KSBY News. All right, Megan, thank you. You can also report six sea lions to the Marine Mammal Center.